Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. Episode 12 The Water Walk. Marooned in the desert at the mercy of the heat, the knights were almost dead on their feet. And with solving the map's riddle, they could barely cope. Would they decipher the kenning? They were giving up hope. Oh, I got sizzled in a forest fire, and now desert heat. Heat stroke, sunburn, and blistered feet. I don't know whether I'll survive to write my very last poem titled The Good Poet's Final Good Night. I'm not standing for any of that. You two moaning like deadbeat desert rats. I'll be back in a while. Hold on to your hats. Or rather don't. I'll need them, you two scaredy cats. Katrine took their last empty bottle and armoured hats and tied them onto her horse's back. Several miles she rode to the spring and filled bottle and helmets up to the brim. A few journeys she made each time filling the hats so enough water for knights and horses went back. Water! You got it! Three cheers for the camel and Katrine's water walk! No time for that. Drink. Don't talk. Now, what about my idea? Here's the thing. Could the water in the desert oasis be our missing spring? There's no way it is. Doesn't fit with the kenning in the map's poetical quiz. Echo chamber. Pitch black. You're not on the right thinking track. Mm, true. Nothing black at the oasis. You're right. Uh, and presumably no chamber of any description in sight. Well, is it a dungeon? A pothole or pit? What other location could possibly fit? A decoy bedroom? A, a room with no light? I don't think any of those are right. We can't spend all day with our thoughts in a twiddle. Well, your poet laureate out here, you solve the riddle. If you don't, they're going to give you no thanks back in the kingdom of Frank. Back in the kingdom, there were riddles too. How had it become further polluted with plastics and poo? The king's subjects fell ill and took to their beds, whilst others vented their anger on what lay ahead. Demonstrations took place well into the night, with the crowd in support of the rights of the knights. The queen was in bed with an upset tum. The king had the farts and was plagued with the runs. I warned you, dear father, of what was ahead. Let's hope that our knights are not found dead. Or our people will put the blame on you for not supporting the quest of the knightly crew. Time's running out. They're our only hope. Without clean water, our people can't cope. Please don't object. Please speak to your subjects. So King Frank went onto his balcony, looked down at the crowd and bade them. Silent V! <coughs> Good Franconians hear what I have to say. I hear your grievances, but I shall rescue the day. My counsellors, lawyers and sages advise the rules for lifting the binstone can be revised. So I grant leniency and absolve the knights who went off on their mission without my royally stamped seal of permission. The crowd cheered. Then a boy aged no more than five shouted... But are they alive? My messenger brought news a fly tipper was caught. The fly tipper told of a duel he had fought. Katrain the courageous he engaged in the fight. They are still alive, those valiant knights. I intend to send out a search party with new supplies to support those three. Good father, with all you said, I agree, but this is idle talk of a search party. By the time they reach them, all will be lost here. Too little, too late is what I fear. Time has been wasted and we're on the brink. We need fresh, clean water within two days, I think. We must hope that those three are not just sitting around, that they're making good speed back here over ground. The worst that I fear is that poetry chap isn't lounging around with his pen and his pad. We're in their hands, Father, and on this we must bank that they're on the cusp of finding the Fountain of Frank. Back in the desert at the camel's shack, the knights said their goodbyes and were back on track. On their way, they pondered the riddle me re of the answer to the kenning, but they couldn't agree. Echo chamber, pitch black. I just can't get it. Whatever I think of just doesn't fit. No surprise there. But I think I've the answer, I swear. The kenning is echo chamber, pitch black. So how about a tunnel or a chimney stack? I'd say, to be fair, not tunnel or chimney. 
You won't find a spring in there. So, how about it's a long dark corridor that leads to a spooky chamber in a haunted house with like vampire bats and those other creepy things, you know? No, we don't know. So to be clear, this is about a location in the kingdom and if you use some nows, you'll work out that Frankdom doesn't have vampires or a haunted house. But wait, you did mention bats. And where might you find a bat habitat? Get my brainwave? They hang out in caves. Echo chamber, pitch black. A cave it must be. We've solved the kenning, don't you agree? Get the map out and let's see if it fits. Go on, try it. Echo chamber, pitch black. The answer is... A A cave! cave. The map's glowing, it's right. The kingdom's water supply is saved. Look, it's now revealing information about the Fountain of Frank's hidden location. And who'd have thought we'd find the location once and for all, unbelievably close to our castle walls? It was there all the time, buried beneath all our filth and grime. We must make speed and return with this news, discover the fountain and collect our dues. More like lose our heads by the executioner's hand for setting off on a quest without the king's command. Has anyone ever told you to focus on positive thoughts? My teacher once did in a school report. Here is a positive. Look at me, Alf. You've made it this far. Have faith in yourself. The journey home was boring and long, but they kept themselves cheerful by singing songs. Then Alf felt his phone give a vibrate and jitter and got reception to get onto Twitter. Oh, I'm just sending a tweet and a text to me mum to tell her I'm safe and the quest is all done. Send one to the princess whilst you're online. Say, see you on Sunday, we're making good time. With the map safely stored and with success on their side, they were fired up with zeal and ready to ride. They galloped in moonlight, in sun and in rain, until mentally, physically and questurally drained. (sighs) Let's find a spot to bed down for a while, for an hour or two. Then we've just a few miles. Let's air our armour and dust off our clothes. They're still filthy with sand. Yeah, gets right up my nose. (laughs) Leo Frick. Hang all our clothes out on that oak tree. Alf, tie up the horses and leave feed for all three. As they rested their heads, they went out like a light, but footsteps approached the three sleeping knights. The snapping of bracken and twigs underfoot didn't wake one single knight up. It wasn't till dawn and a crow cawing din that the knights realised they'd all slept in. Not too long after their first yawn, Leofric yelled, Our horses have gone! They're nowhere to be seen. What do you mean? They've bolted. Didn't you tie them up? I used my best knot. That squiggly one I learned in the cubs. Horse stealers. Horse theft. And all our clothes. There's nothing left. We've been cleaned out. How did they get the shields and swords? Helmets and armour. All that we wore. Let's give thanks to our Princess Aquiline's behest. We made sure we brought gloves, long pants and a vest. And that is all we have left. The knight stood in their gloves and their underwear and gave the whole scene a stupefied stare. Well, it could have been worse. How so? They didn't take my verse. I still have a pen and a pad. Perhaps they read it and thought it was so bad. What troubles me more about this mishap is after all we've achieved, they've got the map. In King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest by Martin Kishko, you heard the voices of Toya Wilcox, Garcia Brown, Akib Khan, Nathan Morris, Andrew Dunn, Andrina Carroll, Emily Spowage, Ian Billings, and Claire Wyatt. The music is by Martin Kishko, and the sound design by John Scott. King Frank of the Knights of the Eco Quest is produced by Andy Cartwright as a soundscape production for Fun Kids, supported by the Audio Content Fund. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest.